Hey, what's up everyone? Johnny the Geek here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, some free programs on uh, the fast and easy way. This is a great uh, site to use, especially after you've uh, set up a computer um, and you want to do a clean install of all these uh, free apps. Uh, that's very useful. It's a lot of common apps that you're going to install anyways, but this makes it a fast and easy way to install all the apps, uh, programs. And uh, what it does is that it creates an install installer file for you and uh, it figures out what version windows you're on and uh, what version of the software that you need and it also downloads the latest version for you also it removes any of the uh, adware um, or um, bloatware that comes with like the toolbars and stuff like that it, it uh, installs it without all of that stuff all right so the site is called ninite.com n-i-n-i-t-e.com and uh, once you're at this website here, you're going to pick and choose all the software that you want. And so this is a typical software package that I usually install. And it's the, uh, I'll do the Chrome. These are my web browsers. I'll uh, use Skype and Google Talk. And it basically comes down to personal preference and also the preferences of uh, your user. So I'll also do VLC. That's good for uh, the video codecs and uh, the K-Light codecs. I use a lot of Hulu, a little bit of Audacity, and uh, old QuickTime. And that's it for the media. Uh, imaging, I don't really use, but I would suggest using Picasa. That's a pretty good program, and GIMP for editing photos. And uh, Adobe Reader, I'll use. Um, they've gotten a lot better, trust me. I do a little bit of uTorrent, and then all the runtimes. I'll run and install all of that. I also use Dropbox and Steam. I'll leave that off for now. I do use Team Viewer to provide support. This is uh, connecting to other computers um, and controlling remote desktoping to other computers, which is really good. Uh, Oslogic um, is for uh, disk defragging. TerraCopy, great program for copying. Uh, files over TrueCrypt uh, CD Burner XP for burning CDs, data CDs and images I also throw in there Image Burn and CCleaner uh, Recova that's um, for um, recovering deleted files or accidentally formatted drives Revo Uninstaller that's a good program to uninstall programs uh, 7-Zip uh, that's my zipping program of choice and these are uh, developer tools that I'm just going to install for my own per personal preferences alright so uh, one last thing I uh, want to mention is the antivirus programs I use Avast and Malwarebytes and Super Anti Spyware those are the three best ones of my choice Right, so uh, once we have everything that we want selected, click on Get Installer, and uh, it may automatically download. It may not. You can just click on uh, the manual download. I'm gonna save it to my desktop, and once we do that, right. So this is the installer file right here, and you're just gonna double click on it and it's as easy as that you just click on run oh and then I get this uh, user account control and I'm gonna show you how to turn this off this is kind of annoying to me although it is pretty safe but who really ever really looks at this so this is how you disable the UAC you go to the uh, start button and in the search bar you type in UAC right and then you can bring this slider bar all the way down it's gonna ask you one last time for this are you sure you want to do this you say yes and then that's it another um, thing I like to disable or turn off is the uh, action center messages so here under change action center settings I'll uncheck this by default it's all checked 
and uh, I'm pretty much um, aware of what's going on with my Windows update and network firewall virus protection and whatnot. So I'll uncheck all of this. I don't want it bugging me, popping up at the bottom all the time. All right, so uh, now you have this uh, little packaged installer. All it is is just a, a shortcut that initiates all of the uh, installing for you. So you just double click on it, click on run, and then that's it. Okay, so now that the uh, updates are finished, um, you're going to be presented with a little summary. And so some of the applications uh, were already installed and up to date, so it gets skipped, which is a good thing. And uh, because when it knows, it automatically uh, skips it for you. Right, so once that's done, you can just click on close. And uh, one of the things you should do uh, soon after you install is um, register the Avast program. This is the antivirus program, and they give you a 30-day trial, but it's free to register, and you get a whole year uh, worth of protection for free. So you just click on register, you can enter in any name you want, and email, then click on register, and that's pretty much it. Here are all of the shortcuts on your desktop. You can go ahead and hide these or delete these if you want. And so that's pretty much it uh, for the Nanite website and installing free software. Thanks for watching. Peace.